Hello everybody, I'm Frida Stauffer. I just uh, made a delicious New Jersey meal. My uh, son Mohammed and I ate it. Um, my kids, Ali, my son Ali didn't want any. And the twin, uh, the little ones, um, Zakia and Hassan are at school. So I still have leftovers for whoever wants it later, but uh, it was a very delicious meal. It's a, uh, both of the dishes I made were our, um, uh, New Jersey diner style, um, dishes. One is a sandwich and one is a plate of disco fries. And the sandwich I made is, uh, it's called a sl New Jersey sloppy joe. It's not your average sloppy joe. It's not that old fashioned one made of a burger, uh, ground meat and in in a sauce that gets served on a bun. No, this is much more, um, um, I don't know, <laughs> complicated. It has more steps or something. So anyway, I hope you enjoy watching me make and, uh, and uh, review the meal. This recipe that I'm making right now is coleslaw. <clears throat> and it goes on to a special sandwich. It's a New Jersey uh, sloppy joe. And um, the coleslaw is very simple. It goes with a fourth cup of white vinegar, um, a tablespoon of sugar, so simple. A spoon of sugar. Um, a teaspoon of salt or half teaspoon, not too much. Pepper, black pepper. All right, that's all there is to it. That's the sauce, uh, the dressing, I mean. So simple, very light, no oil. Okay. And this is 14 ounces of coleslaw. It says a half pound, but I uh, I always think that there's more dressing than necessary in coleslaw most of the time. So I'm just going to use the whole thing. I think because the cabbage itself, when, once the salt gets into it, it will uh, release some of its liquid and, and make, this, make the dressing seem to be more. So I'm going to go with this now. Okay, so that will go into the refrigerator until I'm ready to make it, the sandwiches. Now I'm going to make the Russian dressing. Russian dressing gets a half cup of mayonnaise, and I'm just eyeballing it. That's at least a half cup. I have my fourth cup here just to, for um, uh, estimation. Okay, now it gets three tablespoons of chili sauce. It's supposed to have Heinz brand, but this is Kroger brand, I'm pretty sure. I'm sure it tastes pretty much, pretty close to the same thing. So there, 
three tablespoons chili sauce. Now a teaspoon of hot sauce. That's original red hot sauce. And <clears throat> some, about a half tablespoon of pickle relish. The recipe says add salt, but doesn't need salt. It has enough salt at this point. It said onion powder, but I don't have any. So I might use garlic powder instead. There's the garlic powder. This is diner food that I'm making today. I'm making sloppy joes and disco fries. And these are not the sloppy joes that we're used to. These are New Jersey Sloppy Joes. Different. It's a different thing entirely. Okay, there's the Russian dressing. Okay. I'm making the gravy for the fries, disco fries. Of course, this is just country gravy mix. Um, I was gonna use black pepper gravy, but I'm gonna add my own black pepper to it. Be enough. And uh, I'm going to put a cube of chicken bouillon in it. So it will taste like. chicken. I'm going to taste it then and see if it if that's enough bouillon or if it needs more. My kids are not really fans of brown gravy so I'm just going to make the white gravy. It gets um, it gets uh, the tooth? all it gets is mozzarella, grated mozzarella cheese and um, gravy on disco fries. But of course you could change it up and make it any which way you like with any toppings. It's, it, it is a kind of copycat of Canadian poutine, but um, in New Jersey, they make them with crinkle fries and they call them disco fries. And it's a diner food. So, let me see. I'm just grinding the black pepper. So this is just going to have to simmer until it thickens and that's it. Boys! Okay. I made it a little thinner than it is for bake, for uh, uh, biscuits and gravy. Oh yeah. And one uh, bouillon cube was enough. Yes. Okay, so it's ready to uh, park and wait for the fries. All right, I'm going to make um, my sloppy joes. Um, I'm using, a, it, it's supposed to be made with rye bread, so I'm using rye bread, um, two kinds of rye bread. One is marble and one is seeded, so, and it gets triple layers. So, the first thing, the first thing is butter. 
softened butter. It's been softened, so it's going on. Um, <laughs> so excited about trying this new kind of sloppy joe. So there. Um, and then turkey. This is halal turkey from the halal market. I looked for beef pastrami or turkey pastrami, but I couldn't find any. So that's about three slices there. Um, and on top of that, we put some of this slaw. Well, stay on, dude. Okay. Yeah, that's why it's called sloppy because the slaw goes everywhere. Okay. Put some Russian dressing on. Mmm. Swiss cheese. Oh, God. Butter again. <laughs> Insanity. This is an insane sloppy joe, but a very sloppy one. <laughs> and then I put some uh, sliced lunch meat turkey on. The other one was deli sliced, and this one was prepackaged and sliced. I think four can go on. Law. Russian dressing. Mm. That Russian dressing tastes very good. Mm -hmm. A little bit sweet, a little bit spicy. And there. Now, slice, this is a diner sandwich, <laughs> New Jersey diner, there, you want a bite? Mm. Looks amazing to me. How is the New Jersey Sloppy Joe? Delicious. Really? Yeah, I don't. I hate Swiss cheese. Never had coleslaw, but it it's good in this. I never liked uh, rye bread either, but it's good in this sandwich. Yeah, it's a good combination. It's all mixed together mm -hmm. with uh, that Russian dressing to tie it together. So lovely. Mm. Okay, these are the disco fries, and that's mozzarella cheese going on. Mm -hmm. Now, give me the gravy. Is that my plate or yours? We're going to share. Okay. <laughs> Nobody has to have the whole gra plate. I'll eat, come here, eat. It's a party plate. So, tell me how the disco fries taste. Hmm? 
How are they? About to taste it. Good. Yes? Mm-hmm. How do you like the gravy? Tastes how it does all the time. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, good. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> I just realized you didn't record anything on me and Ollie's birthday. I didn't? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. So thank you for watching. And if you try any of these recipes, let me know how you liked it. It was a fabulous to me. So uh, I hope you like it. Have a beautiful uh, Thursday. Uh, it's been stormy and rainy for us all day. So enjoy the rest of your Thursday, whether it's sunny or stormy. <laughs> and then have a great weekend. Bye-bye.